Ever wondered how Immersity AI makes these stunning animations? Stay tuned, because you'll learn how to transform your boring 2D images into awesome 3D animations. I'll also be sharing three essential tips for using this tool. And the last one is the most important, so don't miss out. Ready to see your media come alive like never before? Let's get started. To start using this tool, head over to Immersity.ai. You might know it by its former name, Leapix. Don't worry, I'll link it in the description box below so you can easily find it. Go ahead and click that link to sign up for a free account. Once logged in, you'll be taken to a page where you can start using the tool. As you'll notice, we have an option here to drag and drop media or click upload to get started. This tool supports image files up to a maximum of 20 MB and image formats like JPG, PNG and WeBP. For video files, it supports up to a maximum of 20 GB and video formats like MP4, MKV and MOV. Below this option, you'll notice the features that this tool offers. We'll explore all of these throughout the video, so make sure to stick around. Anyway, I have a couple of images here that we can start creating with. First, let's pick an image and drag it into the tool's interface. Give it some time, as it'll take a few seconds to process your project. Now check out this 3D image that Immersity AI generated for us. Pretty cool animations, right? We didn't have to make fancy edits and spend a lot of time to achieve this animation. It's effortless, and the suggested animation is good enough for us to export our image. While there might be some watermark on the image, it'll be erased once we export our output. To do this, click on the Export button at the top right section of the interface. Then, you'll see different export formats. First is the MP4 3D Motion. This format allows us to experience immersive 3D motion on any 2D device. Next is the GIF 3D Motion. This format allows us to transform static images into captivating looped animations. Then there's the PNG Depth Map. This format provides detailed depth information of our image and is perfect for 3D modeling and intelligent photo editing. For our output, let's select the MP4 3D Motion and click Next to proceed. Then, there's an option to select export size, whether you want the standard or the custom size. For the standard export size, we have three different options. The first one is the limited size export, which offers free exports by watching ads. However, it's limited to 720p resolution, has a watermark, and is also limited for commercial use. The plus size export allows us to use credits and offers more access, such as commercial use and being watermark free. The premium export size offers higher resolution export, but costs more credits. The same option works with the custom export size. The higher resolution export you want, the more credits are used. With that being said, we can download our 3D image after we've selected an export option. So here's tip number one. Utilize the free credits and exports this tool offers, as it allows us to maximize our experience before committing to any purchase or subscription. Now that we've created our first 3D image, let's repeat the process for the remaining images and make some adjustments. To do this, head back to the dashboard by selecting the Back to Editing button and click on the Upload button to import new media. Let's repeat the process we did earlier by dragging our media, dropping it into the interface, and waiting for it to be processed. Sometimes there might be some odd motions and distortions in our generated 3D images. So, we need to tweak some adjustments. To do this, simply hover to the right side of the interface and under 3D Motion, you can see different options to play with. First, we have the Animation Style. This option allows us to change the style of our 3D image. Whether you want your 3D image to loop, reverse, or have different motions, it's that simple. For now, let's select one of these styles that best fit our 3D image. Additionally, you can choose the manual settings for more advanced editing options for the animation style. Next up, we have the amount of motion. This option allows us to adjust the specific motion of our 3D image. You can go up to 100% and observe that it gives more motion to the image, but be careful not to go too far because you might see some distortion. It depends on what image you're using, so be mindful of this. 
Now, if we're going to drag it closer to 0%, we might see minimal motion in the 3D image. And if we drag this to 0%, obviously there's no motion at all. Let's adjust this to around 40%. The animation length is also a great option to edit our 3D image. We can set the length of our animation for up to 10 seconds. This is a great option for creators who want to make longer video scenes. Now let's talk about the focus point. This option allows us to set the focus point closer or further away. It really doesn't matter how far or close you go as long as it doesn't negatively affect your 3D image. So play around with it. Next is the edge dilation. This option allows us to edit the edges of our 3D image. If we move the slider closer to 100%, it makes our main object more static. Conversely, if we move the slider closer to 0%, we can see a lot of weird distortions. Typically, somewhere between 40% to 50% works well. Lastly, the depth map is also a great option if you want more advanced and precise editing. When we click the depth map option, it takes us to a new page where the preview section changes into layers with black and white colors. On the right section, you'll see different settings for the depth map brush. Let's leave the settings at default and try brushing a section to see how it affects our 3D image. Then click the preview button to see the changes in our output. As you'll notice, it significantly affects the 3D image. However, if you want to restore the changes in your image, just click the undo button or click the restore depth map to revert to the previous version. With that being said, let's proceed to save our depth map and export our newly created 3D image. So here's tip number two. Utilize the tool settings by trying out different options. Doing so will yield impressive results in your output. And the most important tip you've been waiting for is two. Familiarize yourself with the tool from importing to exporting your media. This greatly simplifies the creation process. Now that we've generated all our 3D images, let's see how they look. Those are cool and awesome 3D images, right? With just a few tweaks, you can bring your boring 2D images to life. Now it's your turn to be creative. Make sure to check out the next video to learn more tools like Immersity AI.